Hello everyone, welcome to Electronics Workshop. Today in this video, we are going to make IoT based health monitoring system that will record the patient's pulse rate and surrounding temperature. Since we are going to make an IoT based system, this system not only record this data but also update them in IoT platform. The IoT platform that we are using is ThingSpeak. ThingSpeak is an IoT cloud platform that allows you to aggregate, visualize and analyze the live data stream in the cloud. This is all about the introduction of this project. Now let us go through the project in detail. Do you want professional PCBs like this one that looks so good then use the services of PCBWay.com. You can select the board size any shoulder max color that you want including something like red, green and black. You can also select the thickness and the PCB can be from 2 layer to 32 layer for some more complex design. The finished quality is also so good and the ordering process is so easy. Just go to pcbway.com and quit now. Insert your design setting, upload your Gerber file and order now and receive your PCB in couple of days. This is a simple block diagram demonstrating the IoT based patient health monitoring system with ESP8266 and Arduino. BPM and environmental temperature are measured by the pulse sensor and the LM35 temperature sensor respectively. The code is processed by the Arduino and displayed on a 16 cross 2 LCD display. The ESP8266 Wi-Fi module connects to the internet and sends data to the IoT device server. Finally, the data can be assessed from anywhere in the world by connecting to the ThingSpeak channel. This is the pulse sensor that we are using in this project. This sensor includes two faces where the first face is connected with an LED including an ambient light sensor whereas another face is connected with circuitry. This circuit aids in noise cancellation as well as amplification. The pulse sensor has three pins, two of them are power pin and one is data pin. Pin 1 is connected to ground and pin 2 is connected to VCC of Arduino. Pin 3 is data out pin which is connected to A0 pin of Arduino. We have used LM35 for measuring the ambient temperature which is connected to A1 pin of Arduino. This is the pin configuration of ESP8266. It has 8 pin in total where pin 1 is ground and pin 8 is VCC. This module requires 3.3 volt in VCC pin. This is the circuit diagram of our project where pulse sensor is connected to A0 pin and temperature sensor is connected to A1 pin of Arduino. Pin 12, 11, 5, 4, 3 and 2 of Arduino are interfaced to 16 cross 2 LCD display. The RX pin of ESP8266 works on 3.3 volt and it will not communicate with the Arduino when we will connect it directly to the Arduino. So we will have to make a voltage divider for it which will convert the 5 volt into 3.3 volt. This can be done by connecting the 2.2K and 1K resistor. So the RX pin of the ESP8266 is connected to pin 10 of Arduino through the resistors and TX pin of the ESP8266 is connected to pin 9 of the Arduino. This is how we have assembled our circuit on breadboard. We have Arduino UNO, ESP8266, pulse sensor, 16 cross 2 LCD display and temperature sensor. Now let us do some settings in our ThingSpeak server. First of all go to ThingSpeak.com. If you already have your ID then you can directly sign in otherwise you can create your new ID by clicking on sign up. Enter your email address, password and finally sign in. Create new channel and write the name of that channel. In this project, we are measuring two fields. The first field is pulse rate and the second one is temperature. After that, we have to add widget as well. So click on add widget. 
click on gauze and make two different parameters for gauze that is one for pulse rate and another for temperature now these are the design gauze for the pulse rate with minimum pulse rate 60 and maximum pulse rate 200 similarly make another gauze for temperature with minimum temperature of 70 degree fahrenheit and maximum temperature of 130 degree fahrenheit in this way we have created our two gauzes now go to api keys and copy this key and paste it over your arduino program then compile this code and upload it to your arduino uno board once the code is uploaded, it takes some time for initializing and getting the data. After few minutes, press your finger one on your pulse sensor and another on temperature sensor. Finally, you will get your pulse rate and temperature displayed in 16 cross 2 LCD display. You can also monitor this data in your serial monitor. For that, open your serial monitor and set your baud rate to 115200. Now, the same data will be displayed in your thing speak. So, go to private view where you can see the recorded data. Here, the data is up updated in every 15 seconds. In this way, you can monitor the live data of pulse rate and temperature. If you don't want to assemble the circuit on breadboard, you want PCB for this project, then go to the website link from description of this video. Scroll down and look for manufacturing files. You can easily download Garver file of this project from here. The source code, the circuit diagram and full documentation of this project is also provided in my website. So don't forget to click the link in the description and enjoy this project.